Mm -hmm. When you talk about what the elections mean to you and what would you say to people who aren't politically engaged right now, why is it so important? Honestly, I, I spent a lot of my life being really involved in social movements, but not so engaged politically. Um, and it wasn't until the last couple of years where I realized like these spaces can be really transformative when people apply pressure. Um, and one of the movements that I was really involved with is a grassroots movement to stop this pipeline from being built called the Keystone XL pipeline yeah. um, that happened, you know, a handful of years ago. And Obama eventually uh, vetoed and blocked the access for this pipeline to be built from Canada across the U.S. that would have been detrimental to the climate. And it wasn't just because Obama was this great climate hero. It was because people for years put massive amounts of pressure. Indigenous communities built coalitions with farmers, with rural farmers across the United States um, and really pushed really hard to get this transformative change to happen. And when we look at the, the, the political climate, young people have completely changed it, have made sure that politicians across the ballot have acknowledged the climate crisis as a top issue for our generation. We have completely push the entire Democratic, uh, Democratic Party closer to uh, a Green New Deal platform, which is the comprehensive and really the only comprehensive vision for responding to this crisis through a lens of justice and equity. Um, and I think it's really powerful for me to, to look at different organizations like the Sunrise Movement that is doing a lot of political organizing around the climate and seeing that these issues are not just distant issues in the future to be debated by politicians. But if we want to make sure that our voices are included, we have to apply that to the process immediately. Um, the margins of victory that happened for Bernie's campaign in various states happened because young people turned out to vote. And when we think about, you know, what this November election particularly means, it's like, there's a lot on the line, not just because of this virus, but because as you're saying, so many of these other systemic issues that have been here for generations, generations that have been continue to be impacted from colonialism and the enslavement of African peoples and so much intense violence like at the, at the foundation of this country. And for us to talk about building a brighter future and envisioning what we want the world to look like, um, getting politically engaged is one step in that process. And voting is like an entry level uh, process and an opportunity for all of us to take. Um, and we, again, have a lot of different champions that are fighting for a Green New Deal down the ballot that aren't just running for, for you know, for the presidential office, but um, for various different levels of power and recognizing that local politics is also really important because I think one thing we've seen with this pandemic too, is there's actually a lot more local leadership that is happening in these times, even in federal leadership, lots of states yeah. and local governments are doing their part much more than the federal government. And um, that's how you make change. We talked about that on the show yesterday is um, is is local and state and all, when we all work together and federal everyone working together that's how you actually make changes.